I've done a video before showing you how to use a session variable to do logins. Basically just transferring cookies from the server to the browser. Next, I'm going to show you how to do an, an HTTP authorization. So these are the basic HTTP authorization pop-up. It's automatic. The browser handles this. You type in your username. and your password and you get to log okay this is what the browser sends back basically just um, what user agent I'm using and so on What I want to show you is when you log in, the browser sends back the username and password. In um, so what the browser sends back, as you can see, the keyword authorization basic, and then this code. Basically, what, that's what you're going to look for in your code. You're going to parse this out. In this code here, you're going to find the index, <coughs> get the string, find the index of that basic authorization basic, and then strip out the code next to it. And then you do a basic um, string compare. Since I know what the encoding looks like, I just plug it in here. Um, there's a base64 encode library if you want to use it. But um, this is as an example for you to see. You can just go to any website, base encode 64 website. You type in that username, password, pair. You hit encode. And voila, here's the code. And that matches what the browser pet gives back to you, as you can see. So you could use that to compare. Basically saying if you are not equal, then throw up that login pop-up. But if you are, go ahead and render out the HTML. Okay, so that's basically it. You can grab the code by clicking the link below. And uh, that's it.